Hi, we're here at Daniel Smith, and my name is Cindy Briggs. And I'm Teresa Gessling with MakeEverydayAPainting.com. We love Daniel Smith watercolors. The spectrum of colors and choices are amazing, but the one color that they were missing was neutral tint. Neutral tint is a great tool to mix with all the other colors in your palette to make rich darks and turn down the brightness and to have wonderful neutrals. We are very excited that Daniel Smith has made this color neutral tint. It is so exciting because it, it does makes these rich, clean, clear darks as well as turns down the brightness in your color to make more of a neutralized um, color and tint um, to the Daniel Smith watercolor. It also doubles your palette, expands it. Uh, this is an essential tool and we were so excited that Daniel Smith made this color neutral tint. This is my painting, Brown Colors which I painted utilizing Daniel Smith Neutral Tint. When I first received the sample, I tried painting using a pure color out of the tube and adding Neutral Tint to it to see how it neutralized the color or toned down the brightness. And that reminded me of reflection. So I painted my Barano colors with Daniel Smith colors and added Neutral Tint to it to get these bright, beautiful colors and tone down reflections. Alright, so I picked a portion of my painting that has some um, interesting shapes in it. And I wanted to start showing you um, how to make a, a beautiful rich dark. I'm, I actually mix the colors right on my page. So I put down some neutral tint here at the base of the boat. And then I will grab another color. This is cobalt blue and drop it right in the neutral tint and let the colors mix right on the page. Here I've added a little bit of cad red and I'm going to just mess up some edges to keep it interesting. There you go. So as I pull the color and the reflection down into the water, I've got, here's some nice neutral tint, and I'm going to create some rich darks, mixing the color right on the page again, so you can see that. I may go back in and re-emphasize some lines, but I want to have you see the colors mixing here on the paper. It doesn't have to be all mixed together on your palette. You get some beautiful rich darks in there. And I am using colors throughout my painting so that the color bounces around. There we go. Softening edges, moving the paint around right on the surface of the paper. There we go. Now I have pure color right out of the tube up here at the top and I'm going to add neutral color down below. So this is a mix of New Gamboge and um, Naples Yellow and a little bit of a Lemon Yellow and so I'll, I'll bring some of those colors right down here and let's see. So here's some new gamboge. And once again, I'm going to mix some of my color right on the page. It's pretty pure right now, so it's too bright. I need to neutralize it. So to do that, I'll add some neutral tint right, in, right on the paper. And you can see how it's turning down the brightness. It's not so vivid. Now if I want it to get darker, deeper value, I can put more paint in the mix, making it creamy, and here I am adding some of that neutral tint. Before I put the color down, I used masking fluid to save some of the whites, and after I put color down, I can lift those and I'll have some 
It's a nice reflection shape so that help hold my painting together and it makes it much easier to paint quickly if you put masking fluid down. Okay, so here I'm going to bring down the red that I have up above and that's a cad red and some scarlet red. And here I am putting the color down. It's pretty pure. So you can see it, a pure color. And I'm starting to add some neutral tint. See how it's changing? It's not as bright. You don't always want your colors to be bright right out of the tube. Sometimes you want to tone them down. And that will make your bright colors more exciting. So here I am adding some neutral tint to the mix. Just mixing the color right on the page. And you can see how it's doling down the color. In fact, I can get pretty dark. I don't want to lose, lose the red. I still want it to say red. So I put a little bit more red back in there. Mixing right on the paper, you can get some interesting changes in the mix. Yeah, I'm losing a little bit of this. Let's pull that back. Now one thing I like to do is pull the color back and forth over the page to make the reflections more interesting. And I am going to bring some of these greens down in a minute. Okay, here we are going to cobalt turquoise. It's a wonderful color. The cobalt light is up above and cobalt turquoise is down below. So here I am putting in some pure color. And I will mix a neutral tint right on top of that. So I want to retain the, the color of turquoise, but I want it to lighten or turn down the brightness and change the value. I love what's happening down in this section. There we go. So here I am pulling the color across the page. So some of that yellow can come clear over here and some of the red over there. There we go. Now one key to painting with watercolors is get in and get out and let the color um, do its magic on the page. So I don't want to fuss around with this and I'm going to take a break from this for just a minute and um, we'll lift up the masking fluid. It's a good idea to get to know your paints to try mixing your paints on scraps of paper. And when I received the neutral tint, I tried this um, doing some drawdowns. So what I do is put the pure color down first and then I put down some water so I can see what happens when the paint mixes and moves right on the paper. I'll start out with the pure color and add some neutral tint and mix the color right on the paper and see what happens to it. So as you can see, the color gets more neutral or not as bright when you add neutral tint. And it's, it's nice to have a tool that you can mix with any color in your palette to tone down the color and to also make rich, beautiful, vibrant darks. So here, these are all a, more in a light value, but I can also mix a beautiful rich dark by mixing the two colors either on my paper or in my palette and um, see what I can get with the neutral tint right, right there. Thank you for joining us here at Daniel Smith, and we hope that you will add neutral tint to your palette too. I am Teresa Gessling, 
and I'm Cindy Briggs and we're here from MakeEverydayPainting.com.